Hi guys! I'm going to share with you today how I use Trillo to organize my social media strategy. So let's jump right in. We're going to go to Trillo.com and you're either going to log in or sign up. The good news is it's totally free. And then you're going to use the link that I provided you to go to the board template. And then we're going to copy the board. So show menu, more, copy board, make sure keep cards is checked, and then name it whatever you want. We're going to go with awesome SM, create. And here's your very own board that you can customize and do whatever you want with. And you'll see the name change up here. And across the top, there is each day of the week. And we're going to fill those out, but first we're going to edit the cards. So I have some cards set up over here, and these are meant to be customized completely by you according to your social media goals and strategies. I provide cards for the four main um, social media channels, but you're, you, of course, can add whatever cards you want to correspond to channels that you might use that I didn't put up here, like Google Plus or LinkedIn or whatever. So let's look a little closer at the cards. And you'll want to click on the card, not on the pencil. Take a look at it. And first you'll see, of course, I have a picture up there. I just find it a lot e easier to look at my schedule when it's a little bit visual. You can delete this picture. You can upload a picture of your very own by going to Attachments, Computer, and choosing a picture, whatever you want. Okay, so the main component of what makes these cards really good is the checklist. And so this is a list of anything that you want to keep in mind with your social media strategy for that channel. So, you know, this is Instagram. So it's whatever I want to keep in mind to do for Instagram on any given day that I have this card attached to. And um, you'll want to customize this to your own goals, your own checklist, and what you're doing with that channel. So we'll just... Click right here, you can click on any of these and customize them. So let's say scheduled, because I use um, Latergram, which is now later, to draft my, all my posts and get them ready to go. And I only post once a day, but you know, your schedule is whatever it is, so you can put whatever you want on there. And then if I know I have it um, all scheduled for that day, then I'm gonna just hit a check there. But um, again, this is just to get you started and it should be customized however you like. You can add items down here. You can click on here and just delete an item. So that's basically it. And you'll want to customize each card before you start copying them over, just because that's going to make it a little easier. And once you customize it, you can copy from here, or you can go out here and copy from here and just say copy. And then choose what day you want to put it on. So you're going to copy card that corresponds to a social media channel that you want to do that day. So, you know, I'm going to engage and post stuff on Instagram every single day, probably. So I would just copy and create card. Anyway, and I would do that, you know, for whatever days that I want to be doing my checklist on Instagram. And then you'll do that for each of these cards listed. And if you don't work with a certain account, just go up here and hit archive and the card goes away. And you'll notice on here that I actually have separate cards for Facebook groups and it just makes it easier for, for me to just go in and kind of interact just with that group as opposed to having the groups listed under my Facebook card. So I customize them for each group that I want to be active in. I'll show you an example. And we're going to name this one just Bean Boss. Um, but it can be anything that's just easy. And then in the description, um, I just have some instructions here so you can cut that out. And you might want to put the rules of the group to keep in mind, like no links. That's not true for being boss, but we're just using it as an example. And if they have promo days you want to keep track of, maybe it's Friday and you can post a um, blog post or whatever it is. So you can put in any notes you want to yourself about this particular group. And then I'm going to actually move this over to Friday because I know that's our promo day, so I know I want to be active that day. 
And you'll see I actually have an attachment right to the group, so you can just click on here and it takes you immediately to that group. You know, that way you don't have to kind of search through Facebook or get distracted. You can just go right to that group page and start interacting. You can also set a due date. So if you know, like next, we'll say next Friday, um, you know there's the promo thread and you want to participate. So you go so maybe 9 a.m. you want to make sure to check the group. And you have a little due date attached to the card. You can also say if you know the blog post you want to to share with the group, you can attach that right here and just paste in the link to that blog post. You could also, if you drafted a post that you want to post, <laughs> post, post, if you drafted a post that you wanted to share with that particular group, you could actually attach the Google document right here from your Google Drive. And then, you know, you may want to also write in comments. Sometimes I actually draft my post in the comments. So let's just say 422. I want to say, how, I want to share how to master video or whatever. Okay, and then it's right here. And if I wrote a longer post, I could just cut and then paste it right into the group. Yeah. So for each one of these um, social media channels that you want to be active in and you have a strategy for, just customize the checklist and then copy to whatever days a week you want to be active in that channel. At the end of each week, whatever day that you happen to reset your social media strategy and kind of recheck it, I just go back through and if all of these were checked for Tuesday, I would just uncheck them. And then, you know, again, just, just resetting each card and writing in any comments about the week that I might have. And I like to look to see how consistent, consistent I've been and I check that against my stats. So it's just a great way to keep organized. And of course, like if you don't, if you're not using social media on the weekend or don't have a strategy on the weekend that you keep track of or a schedule you keep on, you can just delete this card and, and delete means archive in this case and just say archive this list and it goes away. And this beginning card is just a little more instructions on how to use the board. So when you're all set up, just delete this. And there's your social media schedule all set out. And I find it a super, super great way to just keep me organized and keep me consistent. Of course, you know, it's always a struggle, but this has really helped me be clearer on my strategy and how I'm using social media channels. Okay, I'll see you guys later. And if you have any comments or questions about how I use this, please um, comment below on the blog post. Thanks.